three things guys do during the talking stage of getting to know a girl that absolutely chases these girls away by talking stage i obviously mean the earlier days after you just met a girl you know when you guys are still talking getting to know each other and everything i explain in this video three things that guys don't know they do that absolutely chases this girl away that is should i say irritating to her that makes her cut you off or just lose interest in you 100 percent so make sure you watch to the end the first thing is flirting too early or being friendly too late let me explain there's a fine line between seeming like all you want from a girl you just met is knacks sex that's all there's a fine line between seeming like that's all you want and being too reserved and being too scared to make any risky move there's a fine line between those two things so what you have to find as a guy right is that soft spot where you're not too coercive right in the sense that you're not too pushy 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 i need you in my house i need you in my bed type of energy but you're also not too reserved and scared of like you're also not giving her the i'm trying to be your friend vibes so there's a soft spot that you need to find and that's like that's a big mistake that a lot of guys make guys in general right would either be too offensive when i say offensive i don't mean like insultive i mean they attack too fast if that makes any sense by attacking too fast i mean maybe just one day after meeting a girl you know already making um comments right that signal that you want to have sex with her now every normal girl who meets a guy who she thinks likes him knows what he wants right but you like you don't want to make that obvious you don't want to come off as only wanting her body on the first day the only times that you can make it very obvious that this is what i want like this is absolutely what i want and i want it fast right is if you are an extremely attractive guy and she's also extremely into you that's the only time and it doesn't even always work because there are times when a woman will find you super attractive and like you a lot right but she doesn't want to seem cheap so she's still going to kind of withdraw and you know pull back and act like she doesn't like you but at the same time it is also very wrong right and very harmful to you and to your chances with that girl when you're too friendly like you're like after one week or two weeks of talking she has you have never hinted at you wanting to be with her intimately like you don't flirt basically you're, you're asking like very bland questions that you know just a random person who met her online would ask you have to know when you start introducing flirty conversations you, you start introducing questions and conversations that hints that you're 100 ready to get intimate with her do you understand you're not going to come out and like say it word for word but girls are very smart you know like when you're hinting towards wanting to be intimate with her she's going to know so it's all about finding that soft spot and for me what i think is the best game plan for the general like public right for most guys the best game plan is you start talking to her you know you, you go through the normal boring talking stage for like one week you're asking her how, you know where she's from what she likes what she dislikes all those boring ass questions like when you when you're done with that after a week if you see that she's receptive you know we are we are, we are back and forth she's asking you questions back she's clearly kind of interested in you then you start getting flirty you start asking flirty questions do you understand just give her like a week or even five six days right to see how she's re how she's replying then you start getting flirty don't waste time don't like don't spend one month asking her about her family and about like her like don't stop stop this is somebody you want to sleep with i mean yes you'd want to date her as well right but but in general guys are not talking to girls or multiple girls because you know they want somebody to talk to that's not true but, like that's absolutely not true i promise you you know so don't stray from your mission you get you know what you want to do just be very smart and strategic about it don't waste too much time or don't rush in too quickly mistake number two is wanting to lock the girl down too early this like this could happen when maybe you guys have started dating or you guys are in some type of situation ship. you know you both understand that you are interested in each other and everything but you as the guy you're trying very hard to lock her down you'd hear guys use statements like you know you're my wife that's two weeks your wife you hear guys kind of try to prevent the girl from doing other stuff do you understand calling her five six seven times a day trying to know her whereabouts trying to know what she's doing this is just a girl you've met you've only known for three to four weeks right you seem optionless and desperate when you can't let her breathe you're not giving her time to miss you you're not giving her time to want to be with you or to chase you you're all up in her business right wanting to lock her down really fast this is something that I, funny enough right this is something that's also disgusting to men too like women find it unattractive they little be more than men but men find it unattractive too when you just meet a girl you know you guys are having a good time and everything and she's suddenly getting kind of possessive especially in 2022 like things are not the way dating was 20 30 years ago nobody's saying day now right everybody's scared of committing 
I, I promise you this thing. Everybody is because the dating market is fucked up on both a man and a woman side. So, like, everybody's kind of scared of committing. So, when it seems like you're putting too much pressure on the girl, you know, to, ah, uh-uh, where are you? Where, where did you go? You know, you're my wife. Ah, she, she can't be your wife after two weeks. Fucking simp. So, when you're putting all this pressure on her, you know, using words that's that, using words that indicate that, you know, she's your all in all, right? You begin to repulse this girl. You begin to chase this girl away. You begin to seem desperate, optionless, possessive somehow. You get, you know, telling her you love her after two weeks. What does love? How do you already love? Is it that easy? What well, one thing guys don't understand is, right? Girls always try to ask themselves how you, their guy, right, would fare with other girls. I, I, I promise you this. Like, this is exactly why. I think I was watching an interview where girls said, like, if their guy was tough in the beginning of the relationship, like when I say tough, like he wasn't, he wasn't easily, he didn't easily fall for her. Like, yes, he liked her, right? But he didn't easily fall for her. What that let her know is, it let her know that this is not a guy that if he travels, for example, it should be very easy for another woman to just come into his life and blow his mind. Like, because one thing that is characteristic of men who have options is they don't just fall in love easily. You know, if you just meet babe today, tell him, say you love him already. You get, and this is something that some women consciously know, others um, know it subconsciously, but their actions always signify that they, they have this understanding. Because when you're too, no, I love you, the first week, I love you, I love you, in her, in her mind, subconsciously, she's like, just one week, this guy is already gushing like this. That means any other girl can make him, like, any other girl can give him this high that he's getting off of me. This is probably an optionless, desperate man. The third mistake is playing the what do you bring to the table card now i get where this whole what do you bring to the table emanated from right in a generation with a messed up dating market in a generation with the most entitled women in the history of dating ever right it is understandable that a lot of men would kind of want to protect their hearts protect their resources you know and be smarter with who they end up with or who they go out with that's where the whole what do you bring to the table thing came out from you know but at the same time <laughs> regardless of what you see online especially from nigerian women right even the modern nigerian women still want traditional husbands i'm telling you this thing they still do no matter how they try to you know be woke and you know ah me ah no if i bring he will bring it's fine I, i'm not going to burden anybody yeah they might come in with all that energy which is good which is fine thumbs up right but on a very hind brain level right when you watch their actions, they still want a traditional man, husband, boyfriend, whatever. That's what they want. Instead of on the first date or on the first few dates, you making statements that hint that you want to know what she brings to the table. Sometimes you don't have to say word for word, right? You could say things like, okay, so if I do this, what will you now do in return? Kind of energy, right? You talking like that absolutely repulses her. I've said it in the past. The exact same way that if you are on a date, right, and the woman starts saying things like, Ha, me, I cannot cook. Oh. If he cannot cook, he should. Ha, if I cook today, he'll cook tomorrow. If she starts bringing all that equality gist, you become disgusted. Nobody say you know, go help him for house on a normal day. Nobody say you know, go help him if she did sick or if she did tired or if she no day in the mood. You, as a guy, you know that you're going to help her. But when very early in the relationship, she they give you that, you know, ah, me, I'm an independent woman. No, ah, nobody's good. I'm not going to be submissive. That kind of energy, you get disgusted, you get repulsed. All you need to do is watch her actions one month two months three months and see if she's somebody who actually has substance you get what i'm saying she's somebody who has substance you don't have to ask her word for word or be making verbal hints towards it like towards okay i'm bringing the finances what are you bringing you use your own eye check if she's bringing things that are valuable to you then you guys continue the relationship if not you leave them it is way simpler to gauge what she's bringing to you eh gauge what she's bringing to you and confirm if you want to continue in the dating in the relationship than to come out and verbally ask what you bring to the table you know what are you even doing in this studio? that kind of energy it is way it is awful to do that a better way to do this as a guy that is like if you notice that your baby is not investing as much in you is request that she invest in you tell her word for word that ah baby you're going to do this thing for me next week you're not going to say it like in a in like you're not going to make it seem like an exchange you're not going to say me i'm, do- I'm doing this i'm doing xyz you you must do xyz don't do it it might be true it might be true eh but women are like women women don't listen to content they listen to context in their mind they're like ah see how he said it see the energy with which he said it Dude, it's not necessarily what you said and if it is factually right this is how it made them feel do you get 
so what you want to do in situations like that is instead what you do is request for her to do stuff for you babe buy this thing for me when you're coming back you get babe ah you're going to call me this evening request for these things but don't make it seem like an exchange gradually 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 if she's not used to giving or if she was not used to giving before she will start getting used to it gradually that's the better way of doing it that whole what you bring to the table type of conversation you know it's not good when women do it they absolutely put the man in a very weird place and when a man does it it is the exact same thing right avoid those conversations if you like the video hit the like button i think the next video you should watch is my video called three signs that you should get married to your girlfriend so click on the box on the screen or the second link in the description watch it and i'll see you guys in the next one you go be